other tracks are broad blank. So you got um, Chambers, Middlesex, Mercer, Morris. Yeah, no more all the way down. Yeah, there's no one white. There's no one white sign. Now everybody who lives there knows, you know, the, the setup. But um, you yeah, know, yeah. yeah. Um, the second thing is, um, I was wondering if, um, you know, it's possible for police officers to walk the beat more. Um, if there's any federal grants or anything, I got a. I got a bunch of scumbags in my area. I got people with PA tags that pull up in front of my house. They go to Metro PCS, I know they got busted. But they go around the corner, they do their drug dealing, get in their car and leave. It's just uh, pretty sad. Um, have you reported this to the police? I give uh, license plates to the police, but you know, it's, they're on the behind too because you know, if you don't catch them in the act, I mean, what the hell's the point? I mean, you can't really bust holes there. Personally, I like to grab a baseball bat and. Uh, Is this something in your entire neighborhood? Sure. But, I mean, you gotta keep it in those You know, I got one on, um, and I did complain before on the 500 block of Middlesex. Um, lady drives a white pickup truck. I did uh, reach out to a few police officers, and they've been investigating and doing a good job. Um, but she deals drugs right out of her white pickup truck, four door. Got the license plate and all, the 500, you know, 500 block of Middlesex. I won't say the actual address, but you know, two inches in the corner. Um, you know, she's, she's a scumbag. That's what she is, and that's what we need to get rid of. Uh, I complained to her daughter that lived there, and I grew up with her. And I said, you know, I don't appreciate your mother dealing drugs in front of my face, counting money on the street corner. I don't know if there's a law against counting money in public and hand to hand distribution or whatever. I don't know if there's a law with that, but you know, it's just here on town. For all the uh, um, Middlesex, two, two or three years ago, I complained about a guy three houses in, and he was a he was a complete idiot, that guy. But I think he went away to jail. I have some friends up in uh, corrections, and they said he was up there for a couple of years. Well, he's back. I just saw him the other day. And that's what's down this. You know, drugs is just, it's all over. And it's, uh, Do you have a special group of people that, that you want to meet with? And, you know, you know it, it's, it's tough. Like, the, the one kid across the street, he owns his house, uh, rents the next door to the duplex or whatever you call it. And, uh, you know, we, we share the same, uh, you know, feelings there and opinions. Um, we would like to do something like everybody else rents their houses. Um, the other thing is, does the um, city have a complaint form for housing for housing needs? Yes. Like if, if there's a form, can I fill it out with my name and say they're violating code? We actually, we actually have a form that, that comes out into your neighborhood, but it goes to specific locations. As long as you identify the specific locations where you want it to go. Right. So we're getting an accurate account of what's going on, yeah. and the individuals we're looking at don't know we're looking at them. I mean, I, it's a quality of life survey, actually, and it, it goes from, it has a moment, a laundry list of, of uh, violations. Now, if I complained about the um, house, like, it, I check the tax records, you know, all these landlords and charity or employees, um, they don't give a damn about the properties. The facade, you know, it's just, uh, it looks like crap. You know, you got, it looks like mold on the side of the house right above Chuck's appliance. You go to the back there, there's two houses. I mean, it looks like absolute crap. I mean, trash cans all lined up. I mean, just, you know, it's, it just looks like absolute crap. And that's, that's the things that just make this, you know, just bring down the area. It doesn't help, you know, I got drones, I got, you know, just, you know. All right, so I have your phone number and I have your email. So I'll make sure that uh, we look at the quality of life surveys and then we'll sit down and have a meeting. Is, is there a form for like just actual like complaints, like a complaint form for housing? Like I like, like just say like if, if I complain about the two houses there, like that um facade issues, trash cans visible from the street. We would um, write them about it. Not clean up all crap. You know, it's just yeah. They're all quality of life issues. Yeah. Uh, if you look at the back door and you see mold on the side of the house, 
That's quality of life that if, you, if somebody put their trash cans out two days early, that's quality of life that that would be covered in this quality yeah. of life more, and then it would be directed to the housing department. Matter of fact, when we had these meetings of, in, the, in these neighborhoods regarding quality of life, mm -hmm. we'll bring the housing with us, we'll bring the police department with us. Second building. It's a soft building. Soft building, exactly. Now, is that going to continue with one of these three companies or whatever we used to be? That would be a concern of ours, yes, and we did bring it to their attention. But again, it could be too, right? So so if your insurance pays five hundred dollars and they're going to bill you for seven hundred, these people are going to be charged up to two hundred. Yeah. Either either they're going to have to pay it or, or whatever. Right? Yes. So in essence, what I'm getting at is it could cost the people, if the ambulance did like over 2,000 calls last year, I think it's like 2,500. Correct. So it could cost the residents more than if their taxes went up $30. If they got sick, it could cost them $500 for a ride to the hospital versus $30 for their cash. Taxes went up to hold eight dollars. I think the mask played off, but that's the question. Yeah. Now, how do I map off? Well, when, when this finally gets done, we'll put everything in the paper, make sure everybody knows what's going on, what the different, what the different proposals are from the East, East, and every different company, what their promises are. And believe me, we are looking at that, and that was one of our concerns. It's all building. But right now, they're working in, in the city in jeopardy because you, you got three guys on the truck, two guys in the ambulance, and if the ambulance is out on an ambulance call, you got three guys pulling up, especially one night like tonight or something. You know, where you got snow and then you know you're, you're humping hose and you're waiting for help to come, and it's going to be a little while before it gets there. But the proven fact is uh, Sunday night, uh, out of Gloucester Heights. They kept on telling town after town after town the backup ladder was coming from Cherry Hill because everybody else refused to come to Boston and they couldn't get a crew. Yeah. Audubon can't get a crew. That night can't get a crew. Westmont can't get a crew. 
They had to go to Earl Pinkton, Cherry Hill, to get a fast team. That's pretty pathetic. Can't call Camden no more. And it also all stems from labor. So you're putting the residents, you're putting the workers, you're putting the volunteers at jeopardy just to save a couple of dollars, which really you're not saving anything. You're not. I mean, I understand you're short policemen too. They should be hired. You look at that, you look at the, the public works. I watch, it, I watch a guy throw rocks off. On an overtime on the Ridgeway Street fire. I thought he was feeding chickens. Out there like this. Same guy I seen on a Sunday night fire. I think his name's Gazette or uh, I don't know his name. But anyway, no kid. Out there with a chisel and a hammer. Trying to chip away the cap to shut the wood off. I laughed. He ain't got a clue. Well, he's collecting overtime. How many parked cars have we hit? The class. These guys don't have to drive a truck. It's got to be over a dozen for the last two storms. Who pays for that? Taxpayers, insurance. What's being done to them guys? Anything? <clears throat> don't do it again? It's poor. You bring the eight guys back, hire the police off the staff, and let it go at that. All these guys was asking for was a thing, a paragraph in the contract. We'll give you a four, uh, $490,000, not coming back to us. All we want is minimum, our minimum gain back to the seven. Nobody so wants to get it. Five months of talk here for the help, yeah. Four ninety nine. That's a three fifty. Four out six. Four ninety six. Three fifty. Get your facts straight. It's five hundred now. It's not here. It's five hundred. Right. Stay. Nobody else going to talk to this. I'm sorry. Oh well. For the purpose of real estate personnel contracts and litigation. So moved, Mr. Mayor. Second. Second. Well, I say you're right. Aye. 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 Aye.